Hey Pisces cross watchers, welcome to your Pisces cross watching video for November 2019. This is for people who are dealing with a Pisces and they're curious about a Pisces in their life. We're not throwing shade, we're not spilling tea, uh, we're not spying. I'm asking for the information to come in to bring for the to be in the best and highest good of all parties involved to bring about good outcomes, to bring about healing, to bring about good energy for everybody, okay? We're doing this in a, in a peace-loving uh, spirit here, all right? So we're going to see what's going on with those of you dealing with a Pisces in November. I'm using this deck here. It is a discontinued deck. It's an oracle deck, um, but I really like using it because it kind of helps go into like the deeper layers and I feel that when we get into the fall, people tend to get really deep in their feelings. So I think it might be a good deck to use. So we have here retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world, my darlings. There could be issues of marriage happening for those of you dealing with a Pisces. Now, if you've been with this Pisces for a while and you're like, hey, I wonder if this is going to go the next step. It's kind of feeling like we're headed there. This card is a good indication that's coming or that's going to happen. Um, if you are already married to this Pisces or you're already like living together um, or you're already committed in a marriage kind of sense of way and you're not looking for a legal marriage or it's already happened a legal marriage, then uh, this retreat is saying that you are kind of coming into this energy of um, spending more time together and being able to quiet out the static, kind of quiet out the noise. I do feel for some of you, you're dealing with a Pisces where both of you may have had, uh, both of you mutually may have had temptations outside of the relationship. But both of you are like, no, like I, we want to focus on this relationship. Some of you, the issues have been because friends or family have been getting involved with their two cents or there's just been people that have been way too into your relationship, sticking their nose in it. And you guys together are like wanting to get away from that. I don't feel like physically you guys are getting up and moving or like, you know, going on this, like, you know, far away trip or something. I just feel like you guys are as a couple laying low and spending more time together uh, away from the hustle and bustle or away from other people or just doing things together, like going into your own little honeymoon period here and, and just kind of shutting out the noise and focusing on each other. Um, some of you are with a Pisces where the relationship is good. Uh, but they're feeling distant or, you know, and you may have asked them, hey, you know, babe, what's going on? Are we good? And Pisces is like, yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. But you're feeling like they seem to be mentally somewhere else. Um, I feel like they're really looking at the relationship because they're wanting to take this next step with you or they're wanting to uh, open up to you more or let you in more. But they're just kind of trying to figure out like are they really ready or what needs to be done or like is this really it like they're preparing themselves for a bigger step in the relationship whether it be moving in together or getting married or if that's already been done if it's you know buying a home or having a kid or uh, I don't know retiring together whatever it might be they just might be thinking about this next step and so they're kind of going within and trying to connect with their higher self and they're trying to prepare for this kind of energy okay so next we have here Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, right? So, um, this is telling us that uh, some of you in this relationship, uh, you might be, like I said, some of you have had these temptations where you've been looking outside of the relationship, somebody may have been looking good. Um, or you might be wondering, should I write this Pisces off? Are we going to go to the next step? Are we going to go to the next level? And Spirit is trying to say that you might be... <laughs> Don't get mad at me, Crosswatcher. I'm just a messenger. 
you might have some expectations in your head of what your soulmate is going to look like. And I don't only mean physical. You know, when I say what your soulmate is going to look like, it could be that you just kind of imagined that you were going to be with a really brainy person or a really artistic or creative person or a really successful person or uh, someone who is more of an introvert, whatever, whatever. You had just kind of imagined something or you might have a usual type. And you might be really liking this person. And you might be feeling like, well, this relationship may be moving forward, but, but it's not my type. Well, Crosswatcher, if you're watching this, you know, and, and if, if you're, you've been looking for love, I'm not trying to be mean here, but I mean, how well is your type working for you? Like, let's be honest here. How well is your type working for you? So Spirit might be trying to say, even if Pisces isn't exactly your type and you're on the fence about if you want to stay, Pisces seems to be in it. Uh, from this reading, Pisces seems to be like, you know what? I think I'm going to do this, right? Like we have our differences, but I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling like I'm ready to do this. And you've been telling the universe that you want commitment, that you want loyalty, that you want fidelity, that you want someone you can rely on. You want this, you want that. And you've manifested it now. Don't be quick to write it off or push it away because it's not what you usually had envisioned for yourself right? Sometimes our type is toxic for us. Sometimes our type is the kind of person that's familiar to us. And if what's familiar to us is being let down or being in toxic energy or being lied to or being neglected, then what's familiar to us is, is of no benefit to us. So some of you are being asked to kind of open up here and realize and see that there's something about this person that you have you you have received as an answer to your prayer or to your request right like it's coming in with what's going to be good for you right what's going to be good for you and what's going to be sustaining you and what's going to be you know um this doesn't mean that there's no physical attraction so i don't want you guys getting panicked about that you're just being asked to kind of open up the way open up your mind to the way that you're looking at the situation okay <clears throat> excuse me we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance this was a card that you know when i would see it come up for people in the past and if they were dealing where they had really been hurt like it would really upset them they'd be like i don't 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 tell me to think positive or like you know don't put that in my head and and i didn't understand what this card really meant but radley valentine uh really explained it because he helped design this deck. And he said some years later, after the deck had come out, that she is, I can't remember which goddess it is, but she is supposed to represent one of like the, the maidens that was in, in, in service of this Greek goddess of healing. Okay. So what this card is saying is you're going through a time of healing and you might be tempted to push this relationship away because your past hurts are coming to the surface. Ways in the past in which you were disappointed or you were let down or somebody wasn't there for you uh, might be bringing up fear and it might be tempting you to push this person away. Meanwhile, Spirit is saying, hey, this person is different than your usual type. Therefore... Therefore, this person is coming to help you heal. This person is coming to help you learn through positive experiences instead of learning through pain. And if you're just used to the type and the soulmates that treat you through pain, being with someone who's not your type is going to be a good thing. You are going cross watchers through changing your type. You, you, you're, what you're attracted to is changing and Pisces is opening that door for you. Pisces is uh, helping you cross into the energy of healthier relationships. That's what this feels like to me. Okay. And uh, so this card is symbolic of healing and being optimistic and not allowing the past uh, disappointments uh, to make you pessimistic or lose hope in this relationship. So next we have here attraction. This is one of our stalking cards. This is one of our stalking cards, okay? 
So um, this is going to be a card that tells us, oh, I'm sorry, let me clarify. I said it's one of our stocking cards because it keeps coming up. I shuffled, you all saw me shuffle. This card keeps coming up in a lot of the readings. So there's something happening in the collective energy where a lot of people are shifting right now and they're learning this lesson together. Um, this is a card about attraction. Now we talked about how, you know, you might be with this Pisces and you may be dealing with someone who's not your physical type or not your usual type. Type, but this card is saying attraction is going to grow like that rose it's going to bud it's going to bloom and bud and blossom and it's, it's going to grow it's going to become stronger but there's a message as to how okay when we're looking at this card this woman she's not unattractive she's not unattractive she's she's a good looking person but she might not be good looking in the way that like we would see her on a magazine cover today or she might not be somebody that somebody would say oh whoa look she's hot you know like people might not react that way to her but she's very clean she's neat she clearly takes care of herself right i'm not a fan of that blush it's a little i love the 80s but it's a little too 80s for me it's a little too heavy but she likes it she's doing it it works for her right she's dressed nice she's not too fancy she's not like too sexy she's not too out there but this is card is telling us the reason why she's so beautiful is she's obviously taken time to to put herself together in a nice clean you know neat way a way that expresses herself or her personality and she's enjoying that moment. She's just in this ecstasy with this rose here, with like this fragrance. And she's just like, you know, you just see, oh, how inspiring, right? Like she's so happy. She's so at peace. She's so enjoying life. Like, you know, just wanting to be near her, wanting to get to know her, wanting to share that moment with her, or wanting to feel what she's feeling. So this is the way the attraction is growing in this relationship with Pisces is you guys having meaningful interactions together. And as you're doing things that are connecting you with your awakening, your joy, your passion, the things that you're excited about, that's making Pisces more attracted to you. All right. And that is helping you also be attracted to Pisces and, 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 seeing like you know having these experiences together having these shared experiences so the attraction is going to grow and i'll be honest with you physical attraction if you look in a scientific viewpoint science is going to tell you all of the things that cause love at first sight or physical attraction in a scientific way that your DNA matches up or you guys would have the potential of, you know, creating a future generation with like a healthy immune system or something. And all these reasons, like what attracts people to each other. I can tell you energetically, people tend to be attracted energetically, physically attracted to people who have energy that is familiar to them right and so you're breaking out of that you're coming into a new energy together and your type is changing you're finally going to be attracted to what's good for you instead of what's going to hurt you and pisces is kind of like you know helping you make that happen um the next card here for you all is reconciliation so again i feel this relationship is healing it's healing it's healing it's healing um, it's, this is going to come in in two ways. Remember how I said the first card, I felt like it was saying you all are like going off together to become closer and get like all of the opinions and all of the people who've been meddling, get them out of your relationship, get them out of your way and just focus on each other. So a lot of you are having a reconciliation and that you're becoming closer together. Okay. You're becoming closer together. You're deciding there's a lot in this relationship to make it work. You're realizing that, hey, maybe this isn't the person I envisioned myself with, but this is the right person for me. This is a good relationship. And you're seeing all of the qualities that make them special and that make them good for you. And so you all are reconciling in that way. For other ones of you, I feel this Pisces has come into your life as uh, someone who's trying to help you experience a very fulfilling relationship, specifically because someone who's very bad for you is going to be resurfacing. And your guardian angels and your guides are trying to protect you from going back to that. And your guardian angels and your guides are hoping 
that if you can be with Pisces and if you can experience this relationship with Pisces, then when this lower vibrational ex or person that maybe you had feelings for but they weren't ready for you or whatever it may have been, when this person comes back, that you will be able to tell them no. Okay, I know some of you are going to argue with me and you're going to say, oh, but the person from the back is great and they're my soulmate and they're my twin flame and they're my this and they're my that. And maybe for some of you, that's the truth. Okay, but don't tell me that you know that it is because you're looking at this card and these people are happy. Because I can tell you from from personal experience, I have seen this card come up uh, for people that were dealing with a very horrible toxic ex, okay? I've seen it come up for me about a very toxic person. Um, but it does not mean uh, that 100%, that every single time when this card comes up, it's going to be a perfect situation. I just feel intuitively, Crosswatcher, that spirit has put Pisces on your path to protect you from going back to a, an old way of love or an old type of relationship that's very toxic for you, that's not serving you. This Pisces has come in to help you to grow, okay? Even if you decide, Cross Watcher, even if you decide that, you know what, this is great, but I want just said something just a little bit more and maybe Pisces isn't my forever person, I do think Pisces is getting there with you or they, like, they want to have that forever with you. But even if you decide that you're going to move on and you're going to go to another relationship, at least the connection with Pisces has taught you what a better love is, what a healthier love is, okay? So that you don't go back to that old kind of doo-doo, okay? I know some of you are going to be in the comments like, oh, you know, this is so off and you're so wrong and you're so stupid and you don't know what you're talking about because Pisces cheated on me and Pisces did this to me and Pisces was toxic, and for some of you, you may have had that experience, okay? For some of you, you may have had that experience. So then this reconciliation card may simply be telling you that if you had a bad experience with Pisces, Pisces may be coming back this month, right? And they may be coming back in a way where they hope to have changed and they might be wanting another chance. But maybe Pisces taught you a healthy relationship, if you were dealing with a low vibrational Pisces, maybe low vibrational Pisces taught you a healthy relationship by showing you what it damn sure was not, okay? So maybe some of you had the lesson coming in that way. But I do feel that this Pisces is a significant person coming in to help you realize what you deserve in your love life, okay? And I feel like it's helping you to change your type. Pisces is helping you change your type because your type has not been working for you so far, okay? So that's just kind of the energy and the feeling that I'm getting there, my dears, all right? Do, do with it what you will. Um, I would encourage you, if you know your uh, uh, Pisces person's, you know, moon sign or Venus sign, if you want to watch those cross-watcher videos just to get like a little bit more in depth about them please feel free to do so otherwise i would encourage you in the next couple of days when the november love readings are posted to watch the november love readings just for a few more little bits of information because cross-watcher videos are done from the cross watchers perspective and what the cross watcher needs to know the love readings for the month are done from the perspective of like first person view of that that sign that sun sign venus sign moon sign person so it could be helpful to put the two together is what i'm saying you may need a private reading which i'm more than happy to do if you uh, click on the Calendly link in the description of the video. It will take you to the scheduling page. I have really affordable readings, guys. I have readings starting at like $20 and up. All the different readings are listed there. They're explained there. The prices are there. The next available is there. You can schedule there. I know that I'm booked uh, for most of the types of readings in through the first week of November. So I'm kind of booked two weeks out right now. I'm going to take some time off at the end of November. So if you miss the window and if you don't get in around the second week of November or so, you might have to wait till December to get a reading. If, if you've been thinking about getting a reading, I just want to put that out there. 
I'm going to be taking some time off in November. Uh, so you might want to get in in November. Otherwise, you might have to wait till December. And then I'll probably, again, be taking some time off in December. So the December readings will also be limited. Um, and a lot of people are going to be booking readings for their yearly forecast. I'm going to do yearly forecasts again. So the calendar could get very busy. I mean, I would like it to, knock on wood. But if it's anything like last year, the calendar might get really booked around the end of the year, beginning of the year. So if you were wanting to get in and get a quick reading, this might be a good time to do that. Um, if you're not necessarily looking for like the whole, you know, like 2020 reading or whatever. So... Just keep that in mind. So Calendly link to click on that if you want to schedule that. I thank you all so very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. And I'm wishing you a fabulous month, my dears.